Understanding Dual Federalism, A Simple Guide. Hello, everyone, welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to dive into an interesting and important concept in political science, dual federalism. This is a term you might have heard in discussions about government and law, and it's crucial for understanding how countries like the United States operate. So, let's break it down together in an easy to understand way. Before we jump into dual federalism, it's essential to understand what federalism itself means. Federalism is a system of government where power is divided between a central government and various regional governments. In this system, both levels of government have their own powers and responsibilities. Countries like the United States, Canada, and Australia use this system. It allows for a balance of power, ensuring that not all decisions come from just one central place. Now, let's talk about dual federalism. This term refers to a clear division of responsibilities and powers between the national and state governments. Think of it as a layer cake, with one layer being the federal government and the other being the state governments. Each layer has its own distinct and separate powers. Dual federalism was prevalent in the United States from the late 18th century to the mid 20th century. It implies that the federal and state governments operate almost independently. To better understand dual federalism, let's look at some examples. In the context of the United States, the federal government might be responsible for foreign affairs and national defense, while state governments handle education and local law enforcement. This separation ensures that each level of government focuses on its primary responsibilities without interference from the other. It's important to note that the concept of federalism has evolved over time. From dual federalism, we move towards cooperative federalism, where there's more overlap and cooperation between federal and state governments. This is sometimes compared to a marble cake, where the layers are more blended. Understanding this evolution helps us see how governments adapt to changing needs and times. And there you have it, a simple guide to understanding dual federalism. We hope this video helped clarify this concept for you. Remember, understanding how our government works is key to being an informed citizen. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more learning content. See you in the next video.